So, welcome back uh, for this afternoon session of the 18th group exhibit uh, Hydrogen Fuel Cells at Hanover Fair 2012. Uh, We're going to be joined now uh, by the founder and managing director of Future E Fuel Cell Solutions GmbH, Mark Uwe Oswald, and we're going to discuss Jupiter fuel cell systems for smart grid and off grid power. So please, a very warm welcome for uh, Mark Uwe Oswald. Thank you, Quera. And welcome to the, uh, well, it looks more like, more than a prototype indeed. Well, this is a running product. It's worth quite a bit. <laughs> it weighs quite a bit, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll check it out later. So, in, yeah, how does it work? Well, this is a fuel cell unit. Um, our, our brand name for our fuel cell system is Jupiter. And uh, this is one of uh, our... Um, legacy products, fuel cell units. It produces two kilowatts of power. Uh, hydrogen comes in from the rear, and it oxygen comes in via the uh, vented vans, and it produces 48 volts DC output power. You mentioned the word legacy. Um, maybe it would be nice for us to hear um, a little bit about the history of your young company. I think that you started out with the idea of making a very um, simple uh, 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 product or at least make fuel cells simple and since then you've passed a number of very exciting milestones i believe so maybe you could tell us just uh, a little bit about the, the history and the achievements of your very young company yeah thank you uh, for give, having that opportunity legacy because we have this product already in the field for now about three years uh, we ta started out in 2006 Actually, a typical startup situation, not in a garage, but in my basement. Um, first product was a fuel cell system for a boat. In, um, then we received funding from business angels. Um, we presented our first prototype. We participated in this exhibit first time in 2008. And we presented actually what you see here. Uh, Jupiter fuel cell system. Back then it was, however, not yet in customer hands. And 2008, uh, we had the first installation with our lead customer, Deutsche Telekom. They use this type of fuel cell system to protect their network nodes, to provide backup power to the network nodes. And coming to the title of this uh, uh, forum, also they use our fuel cell system to participate in the smart grid. So they use a the fuel cell also for peak power shaving and also to participate in the minute reserve market in English tertiary power market in Germany. So multi they made more money out of it than uh, just backup power. It continued very well. In 2009, we presented a real system because of a reordering. Uh, continued even better in um, 2010 they invested after having bought uh, fuel cell systems from us to protect some of the network nodes uh, their venture arm even invested in us so they are an investor in future e now and uh, pass is going great last year we were showing uh, our um, distribution of installations across europe so customer base is broadening and um, this year, actually, we show our Jupiter Independence product, an innovation product-wise, where we have also added or integrated an electrolyzer now. Very interesting. So, in summary, um, Deutsche Telekom is a, a customer that ends up also investing. You've had angel investment, other investments. Um, why are people investing? Why, uh, why do these entities and market players believe in you? I believe in the beginning it uh, was probably uh, the simplicity and uh, the, innovating, the innovation in our product design. Um, you see it here. I mean, typically when you think about fuel cells, you think about technology, high sophisticated technology, uh, but it, or it's kind of distance from real product. And when you see this one, we wanted to make it simple. I mean, have the standard service technician, maybe not that, not having a degree, been able to handle our fuel cell product, to replace it, to service it, to maintain it, to maintain it, 
and um, having a reliable product as well. So I believe this con product concept was con convincing in the first place. And in the second place then, of course, came the delivery aspect to it. You know, they believed in us, we delivered against it. Um, that caused the reordering, we re-delivered and we proved capability to re-deliver. Um, that probably caused the investment decision with them. And that also triggered purchase decisions by other players in the field. Like we have installations now out with Swisscom, with E+, even reaching as far as into China. And um, it's real product. And uh, last not least, it's not just a product, it's also now coming to it the service aspect. I mean, the training, the servicing, um, all the, the yeah, services around the product. And I believe we did a reasonable good job, at least that's what I hear. I honestly, I ask whenever we have an installation, I ask the responsible people uh, doing the installation. Uh, and just last week, we were in a site with Deutsche Telekom where, the, where I asked the technician, you know, you have two years now our product, what is your feedback? And he was quite happy. Uh, I mean, there's minor things. Don't, don't mix that up. Uh, it's the first product. It's, it was a development. We started from scratch. There's always minor things. But it's always the thing, also the thing, how do you handle these things? How responsive are you? Do you find solutions? Um, and to my knowledge, uh, to my understanding, we did a good job. At least I asked the customers for, for response. So one thing that sticks in my mind is that you said something like, okay, so it's, 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 um, it's powerful, but it's simple enough that, that you don't necessarily need a, a degree for it. It's not brain science, let's say. Yeah. And whenever I think people say, you know, such good things about their product, I think one should really check it out. Yes. What do you think? Uh, Shall we do that? We do that. I mean... Ladies and gentlemen, I now invite you to join us. We're going to go over to the uh, Future E stand and we're going to actually check out this Jupiter fuel cell. So please stand up and follow us. Please come in. A live demonstration of Jupiter fuel cells. This way, please. It's not far at all. Uh, please come join. It's just across uh, the hallway. They're joining. Go into the direction of our future e-girl, Anastasia, this year. And we will show you how it works. So please come in. Uh, okay. Can you hear me all? Um, so may I uh, present to you my founding partner? Actually, it was not just me founding Future E. It was also Bettina Dreman. And somewhere around here is our technical head, Siegfried Limmer. So we are founding partners and managing directors today. Bettina is in charge of operations. and. Um, I don't give you the, the, the topic to, to lift it up, but so please forgive me a moment and I will show you how simple this system works, how simple it can be integrated in this uh, fuel cell rack. Go ahead and I bring that. Okay, so it's just lift it up, uh, put it in the rack, put it in. And the central, con and now I continue with the explanation here via the microphone. Uh, you have seen, I, I lifted it up, it's a working fuel cell unit. Um, now it connected automatically to the central canvas control, to the controller on the top. Uh, we have three such units installed in this fuel cell system now. So it makes altogether six kilowatts of power and it can produce power, emission-free, silent, and uh, replacing incumbent technologies uh, such as diesel generators or large battery banks. So this is a fuel cell system, type of fuel cell system, actually exactly the fuel cell system which we deliver into uh, a customer this year, and uh, what we have delivered into Deutsche Telekom, E+, and other customers. And this year on the, on the Hannover Fair, uh, we have the product launch for our Jupiter independent system. So we even ex extended uh, the capability of the product, Jupiter product family by adding an electrolyzer. You're probably aware that fuel cell systems run on hydrogen 
so do our Jupiter does our Jupiter fuel cell system. And some of our customers, they ask us, what do I do in, in regions where there's difficult to come to? Now we have customers in high growth markets uh, like India, like China, Indonesia, uh, Africa, and there's not such a good hydrogen infrastructure. So we have a system, you can compare it to a car which is capable to operate in that area, but we don't have a fuel supply. So what my colleague Siegfried Limmer came along was the idea to integrate a fuel and electrolyzer. So what you see here is in the top the fuel cell units, in the middle the control unit, and below it there's the electrolyzer. And below that there's a hydrogen tank. So the electrolyzer produces hydrogen when there's power available, for example, from renewables such as solar or wind or from the grid. It stores the energy in the hydrogen tanks, actually without a compressor. And when the grid fails or when there's no wind or no sun, then the fuel cell system, just as our regular Jupiter fuel cell system, jumps in and provides the power. So in terms of renewables, it makes renewables reliable. In terms of grid connected, it also offers the opportunity uh, to participate in a smart grid environment, not just providing power, but also working as an energy sink. So we have, uh, for example, in the energy grid peaks when there's wind, too much wind available, wind power available. We don't have consumers, but we can use the electrolyzer to store it and provide the energy back uh, when the energy is needed at peak demand times. <laughs> Can you give us any information what price range this model is of? I, I, I learned it's, it's modular, but what is the base price and what is the rough, the rough price? Yes, um, that's a frequent question which is asked. Uh, I will not share detailed price information. However, a good rule of thumb, if you want to calculate for a fuel cell solution, is either $3,000 per kilowatt or 2,500 euros per kilowatt. That's pretty much a fuel cell unit. And then it comes, what enclosure do you want? Is it an, an outdoor enclosure, indoor enclosure? What power level? Is it 48 volts, 60 volts, DC, AC, integrated in a container? Uh, there are so many questions which are customer specific. Uh, but when it comes down to the basic fuel cell, that's that's the price. One more? Anyone? Otherwise, I will have to ask my last question. Uh, who, who is your dream customer and why? Yeah, um, thank you for asking that. And maybe you can help to fulfill that dream. Or I believe it's not really a dream. Uh, my dream customer is someone who comes by and who has the ability to purchase not just single units or tens of units, which we have sold and demonstrated we are capable to do, uh, but a customer who, per who gives me purchase order for hundreds, maybe even thousands of units. Uh, we are in the stage that we have demonstrated now singles and tens in different areas across Europe and now also Asia, and it's now time uh, that we come, <coughs> that we demonstrate also our um, production capability. Uh, my colleague Bettina, she has done great plans, at least to my understanding and assessment, to plan for larger quantities. Uh, we are definitely capable to, 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 to do it. And now it's a question of customer to come by. Just as a last comment, yesterday I had a customer which came in actually, uh, he came in because Anastasia made connected to her to him and this was a utility operator and they have their large utility operator so they have hundreds of switching stations which are currently protected by batteries so and they are suffering from the volatility in the power grid so this is a customer which has a capability 
uh, to buy to purchase hundreds to purchase thousands and now I hope that this fair and this presentation will help to make this real so it's not yeah to make it real Thank you, much. thank you, Clara. Thanks. So, please follow me back. May I have a question? So yes. You are providing just uh, just a solution as a fuel cell and plus uh, hydrogen. Uh, yes. Electrolyzer, uh, and uh, all these components must be bought from someone else. We are also offering turnkey solutions. Um, well, that's part of our services which we offer. The basic hardware is the fuel cell system integrated with the electro. So, Sabrina, could I have some salt? Okay. So we've come to the end of our um, live uh, uh, product demonstration, uh, demonstration session with uh, Jupiter Fuel Cells. Uh, thanks very much again. I would now like to announce our next session, which starts at, um, at uh, 3.40. Um, it's going to be a session with uh, BASF SE, and uh, we'll be joined by Dr. Carsten Henschel, and the title of the next session is New Celtic Mayor and the Next Mayor Generation. Thank you. <laughs>